something happened to me when Nico gave birth to Kareen, my, my firstborn daughter. I discovered a part of me that I never knew existed before. It was a love of a father for his child. I, I loved carrying my firstborn in my arms, so proud to have sired a beautiful little girl. And then I discovered another part of me when, when Nico gave birth to my second child, Benj, my firstborn son. I felt a deep sense of pride, a, a deep sense of satisfaction, knowing that this son of mine is going to carry my name. And just when I thought a son and a daughter were enough, God gave Nico and I another child, our bunso, Aaron, who was such a delight when he was a baby. I thought then that when you have several children, you would have to divide this limited supply of love among them. But I was wrong. Love never gets divided. A father's love only multiplies by the number of children he has. I, I, I was willing to sacrifice my life for my children. That was how much I loved them. How much more powerful, how much more beautiful, uh, how much more overwhelming is the love of God for his children compared to the love of a human father for his son or daughter. We can never compare to the kind of love that God gives his children. Listen to what the Apostle John said in one of his letters in the New Testament. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. There's a special relationship between father and child, which is quite different from the relationship between a man and any young person in the street. The stranger in the street is not welcome in the father's house. A son or a daughter, however, has full privileges in the father's house. Whatever the father owns is enjoyed by the son and daughter. That stranger in the street no way is he getting within one meter close to the father. The son and daughter, however, can just go and embrace their father and even kiss him. A stranger would be lucky to get favors from the father. Uh, perhaps if he did the father a good deed or did him a nice favor, the father may return the favor generously. In contrast, the father gives gifts to his children for the sheer joy of seeing his children happy. A father is willing to give his entire inheritance to his children simply because they are his children. And I believe that's pretty much how our Father in Heaven treats us, his children. And that is who we are if we have put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. When we united ourselves in Christ, We've been given the right to be called children of God. Let me repeat this. You are a child of God. God is your Father in heaven. And I tell you, He loves you so much. We long to be loved by someone who, who loves us unconditionally. And there is no one who could love us that way, and even more, other than God who is our Father in heaven. And this is how much He loves us. He loves us so much that He gave His only begotten Son to die on the cross, to die a horrible death, a painful death, so that our sins may be forgiven. He did this so as to take away the obstacles that may, may keep us away from the Father's love. That is how much He loves us as we learn to rest in deep assurance of the Father's love for us, and as we live our lives in thanksgiving for being embraced in His love as His children, may we always be reminded, faith matters too.